Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome to my channel Miss Rainy Healings, my name is Rain. Welcome into your video for this eclipse season for June on what do you need to know? What does Virgo need to know during this eclipse season? I don't know what messages are going to come out, I'm just being guided to do these videos for each sign. These are going to be short readings. Focus for this month specifically for the eclipses on what do you need to know? Where do you need to put your focus on? Where do you need to bring your awareness to? What are some of the things that will happen? What do you need to get prepped for? Things of that nature. Lots of healing going on, lots of changes, lots of shifts, tons of shifts. Virgo, your um, your June reading will be done really soon. Okay, I do plan to get that out. I probably will do it on the eclipse on Friday. So, all right, let's go. This is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Release. <sighs> I mean, we are in eclipse season. Yes, what is happening? What do you need to know this eclipse this eclipse season release? And that is exactly what eclipse means. Eclipse means we are eclipsing things out of our lives, so we are releasing. I feel like for you, Virgo, this is mainly focused around yourself, your insecurities, things that you are holding on to, maybe old toxic thoughts, old toxic patterns. To me, this is the, the devil card, okay? And um, this is really talking about transmuting your inner... Um, thoughts about yourself, okay? Kind of changing that narrative, changing that dialect, changing the conversation that you have within yourself, okay? I feel like that's really changing for you. I feel like that's what's releasing. I feel like that's what's changing. All right, you're releasing insecurities. What do you have to be insecure about? You are beautiful just as you are release those thoughts release anything that is holding you back yes four of pentacles here i just saw the four of cups so there's some unha like unhappiness in a situation unhappy maybe you're unhappy with yourself maybe maybe because you are going through all of these shifts and all of these changes that there are insecurities that you thought that you had healed from started to resurface again, okay? Because sometimes things that we thought we released from a really long time ago do come up into the surface, okay? Um, I know this is a really big mug. <laughs> it's like the size of my head. just making some tea mm. drinking some tea and uh, there's little messages here it says in all things of nature there is something of the marvelous Aristotle mm. it's jasmine and lavender all right Virgo let's get into your short tarot spread for Virgo my lovely Virgos Sun Moon Rising and Venus two of cups and strength whoa 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 I did not expect that I did not expect this it's almost like as soon as you release this energy okay you change the conversation the dialect within yourself this kind this partnership comes in or maybe a partnership re-strengthens or strengthens okay this is also a bond with within yourself or between yourself but we all know uh this energy here with the two of cups that i'm feeling there is a second energy that is attached to you okay releasing these insecurities releasing these toxic thought patterns healing growing okay loving yourself nurturing yourself as you release what do you do you make room for a partnership okay growing and healing 
making room for the two of cups it's beautiful look at that death transformations what did it come out with look ten of cups and the four of pentacles and i mentioned when i was shuffling i saw the four of pentacles you have to open up you have to heal you can't be closed okay so this is being open to this change being open to things that are eclipsing out of your life healing the insecurities letting go and releasing I feel like you really want to let go of something okay maybe you're holding on you're holding on to something a little too tightly that needs to be let go of it needs to be released okay the sun joy happiness success wow you have death ten of cups the sun strength is showing itself again having the strength to release mother of cups self-love self-nurturing self-care i see you so i see you this month doing a lot of um self-care okay i really i really see that i see you focus on yourself here especially with the mother of cups and the sun this is a lot of healing energy and i just want to point out the doves in the four corners of the deck and we all know white doves represent the holy spirit okay so I feel like there's a lot of father healing happening here, um, mother healing, father healing, this sun energy is healing energy, There's this, these, these are things that are coming into the light, and look at the differences of energy, you're going from releasing and eclipsing things out to the sun, it's like you, it's like Mm, interesting i just heard weathering the storm and look at look at this beautiful synchronicity of the storm here in this card and look at the sun peeking through the clouds okay you, you are weathering the storm for sunnier and clearer days to come i honestly feel like you're healing insecurities i do see you this eclipse season really focusing on improvements okay of the mind healing your insecurities and taking notice of self-care what can i do what can i do to care for myself how do i love myself more okay i feel like this is your this is the transformation that you're going through and then you have the two of cups and ten of cups all right so i feel like this is if you have been following me for virgo for a really long time for these readings i've been channeling for you guys this abundance that is literally knocking on your door and abundance is what you make it abundance is what you want and um there's something that is like holding you back and I don't want to say like cliche like you're the one holding yourself back but you may not realize like these insecurities still linger you may not realize that this energy still lingers inside of you or is you know this could be even attachments to things that um you may not see but are there energetically so use the divine guidance use your higher self to continuously transmute and heal energy so i do see you this month using the eclipse energy to heal that really focusing on self-care i even see someone grooming their hair maybe you just cut your hair or you're thinking of cutting your hair um i see someone um because i <laughs> like someone like grooming the feathers maybe not like licking wounds but maybe you're um looking at your scars or kind of like just embracing all of the scars that have made you who you are this is part of who you are you have the nine of pentacles here but again look at the protection remember when i said you are like um the holy spirit here the doves in the four corners this is like the um father healing is also a symbol of protection and look at the feathers that are around these pentacles and we all know nine of pentacles is this independent strong energy so you're really standing firm in yourself you're really standing 
on your two feet and you are persevering and you're weathering the storm and you are healing and you are growing and you are really taking care of yourself as these changes occur while being protected okay and there's someone on your path here that um, this eclipse as soon as you eclipse out this energy this comes in the two of cups and the ten of cups we do have here the hierophant underneath that this is commitment you could be manifesting commitment with this person okay you could be leveling up with this person or a connection maybe leveling to the next level this eclipse season okay that's for some of you it really is all dependent on your healing process and your pace okay like I said these are short readings so that this is what I have for you um, Virgo I hope you enjoyed I'm sending you so much love light and protection and you can look forward to your June reading shortly thank you God bless